well it's the 2nd of December 2017 06.34 hours Greenwich Mean Time officially Christmas season so a bit of a strange one today going to Caffilly to do some Christmas shopping actually a Christmas haircut and then off to Newport to see if I can get a tiny rebel jumper anyway Last week I was full of a cold, didn't go anywhere, missed Newport, missed the UK beer debate. I'm still sniffly, but it is Christmas, and at Christmas we get what we deserve. ELP. Well, Greg Lake actually, but there you go. Um, I think it's Christmas. Although, I'm not altogether sure. Anyway, coffee, bacon using points. Ooh, look, they're all festive. They're not actually open. It's going to be one of those days. They'll be open. I got full faith. Well, this is Newport and it's drizzling. There is a lovely smell of bacon from behind me. Not West Royal Bank of Scotland cash machines are down. I'm going to the John Wallace Linton. A bit of festive wood for Mr. Manning. For now, for now. Ooh, look. It's. And this is Rudolph's Reward by number 18 yard. Actually, Shepherd Neen. 3.7% alcohol by volume. Had a look at last year's score. B. Plus. So. Smells traditional. Okay. B. It's mighty watery. Bit of hops in the finish, touch of spice, but it's watery. There you go. Shepherd meme. <laughs> Festive. Anyway, number two, Bitter Winter by Caledonian from Edinburgh, which I think are owned by Heineken. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Um, I had a quick sniff. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hot now. My nose is a bit rubbish. Mm, full body, tastes really strong. Malty. I'm going to have a ton of alcohol. But at 4.8, I don't think I should. Anyway, I'm going to give that beef lesson a bit. Well, at least the rain stopped. Rugby. Oh, look, it's a number 50, my bus. Music takedown. And murkiness from the Vale of the Morgan Brewery. Is conversion. Lots of rugby themed things going on today. 4% alcohol by volume. Bit cold. It's a bit cold anyway. Mm. It smells fruity. Ooh. It's actually been great for you. You're coming With a bit of lemon in it. B plus and a bit. I'll run with that. I'll definitely run with that. It's in a bus glass, you can probably tell. It's festive. And a bit open. Yeah. Although, let's be honest, it is mighty nippy. We come to Newport and we drink Caffilly, the Linesbrew Co. from, I thought it was the Ponte Gwindy Industrial Estate, I think it is actually, Strawberry Grisette. Uh, weighing in at 3.5% alcohol by volume. Colour balance. Mm, it's got that sort of sour. Ooh, tart slug. 
that is complex. And there's certainly, although it does say it, Belgian yeast in there because that's bubble gummy. That's a B plus plus. Gotta be honest, I like it. Look at how murky that is. It's a collab, Verdant and Dea. It's called Jacob the Canary. DIPA at 8%. Mm. Oh, it smells fruity. It's really fruity. Oh, that's quite strong as well. The alcohol is hidden until it gets to the finish, then it just hits you. B plus plus. Wow, it's the back of the throat. Okay, so chips. I'm gonna let like the cell door is open over there. My rucksack is falling off my back. Yeah, apparently, this is the place to be in Newport. Yeah, yeah. rock and roll. Well, it looks open. The lights on. Oh, it be open. If not, I'm going home. Try a test of but it does look good. Well, this is different. I'm actually filming the pump clip. Grey trees from Ray in Aberdeer. Well, not actually Aberdeer, but close enough. From a boy, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Look, there's Kai. Oh, hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Mm. Do you want to do a B test? plus in a bit. Do a test on it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it looks wobbly. Anyway, skidded Welsh bitter from Tudor. I think they're in Mount Hereth. Who knows? 4.2% alcohol by volume. That's right. You should go for uh, filming the beers, Jim. Oh, yeah. Don't you film the beers? No. Okay. I'd film more hoppy stuff, but that's B. No, sorry, B. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> 